Uh, Charles Payne knows that. He's the host of Making Money on Fox Business. He joins us right now. Charles, let's start with what uh, Ken Langone said right there. What he's talking about is the Democrats would like to pass this $3.5 trillion wish list. He says that would just be like throwing a, a five-gallon can of gas on a fire. Well, he's absolutely right. Uh, and, and we all feel and see that fire. And this is... I, and I guess, listen, this, the Democrats understand uh, this as well as anyone else. Let's just talk about inflation, right? You've got two types of inflation. I want to help the audience understand what's really happening here. One is what they call demand, right? When demand goes up, it's economics 101. Too much money chasing too few goods. There are three things that uh, that this kind of what's happening with the Biden administration is, is really making this worse. Government spending is uh, one of the major issues that would demand inflation expectations and more money in the system. We know the Federal Reserve is pumping a whole lot of money. Yep. Those things are not going to go away. They are absolutely insidious. You add in raw material prices, higher wages uh, because you have a mar an economy where people don't have to work. They have the luxury of telling employers, small employers particularly, no, thank you. I'll stay at home and make more money. Uh, it's, it is, it's insidious. And now if we toss another three and a half trillion into this cauldron, the irony, of course, is that the same people are saying, no, thank you. I'll stay at home. They're buck. They're making more, but it doesn't go as far. I want exactly. to point one thing out. This year, uh, wages have gone up every month until you factor in inflation. Month over month, every single month this year, uh, wages, real wages in real life have That's gone right. down. Absolutely. Uh, during this pandemic. And, and, and then when you look at uh, something else we were just talking about in the introduction about how top uh, some of America's biggest cities, America's three biggest cities, all lag in job recovery when it comes to L.A., New York and Chicago. The, all of the top 10 uh, cities in job recovery are in states run by Republicans. And the top three cities are Lincoln, Nebraska, Omaha and Huntsville, Alabama. So, Charles, real quickly, what are the Democrats doing to tamp down growth? Well, the draconian measures taken uh, during COVID, locking down their states, forcing businesses out of business, telling people to stay home, they've made it really tough for anybody to start a business, operate a business, 